Hey everybody, it's Big Paul. Welcome back. Big Paul Struckin. Now's the time. Like and subscribe. Glad to have you guys. I appreciate all the new uh, subscribers. Tell a friend. All right, here we are. What we're going to do now, I just wiped out the inside of that rail. Um, we're going to uh, actually get that one prepped for paint on the inside. That'll take a day or so to dry before I can handle it. Work on the other side. And uh, then we're going to cut this other rail in half so I can slide the two pieces out and do my measuring. So, all right. Well, I want to appreciate you guys watching and uh, stick with me. Here I'm just getting ready to cut the frame in half, the old frame, and spread the two pieces apart. And then we can go from there. Big Paul, Big Paul Struckin', like and subscribe. Hey, wanted to bring you up to speed. The second rail is in there, but not permanently. I got it clamped in place. I wanted to show you guys this. Primed on the inside. And uh, clamp, 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 clamps on the inside, clamps on the outside. And uh, getting ready to center punch all those holes. Just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. All right, you guys. Well, the beam's ready. Or the frame rail, it's ready to go. Prime. I'll let it dry overnight. Eh, pink feels uh, eh, soft, but uh, it'll be all right. Well, I'll tell you, after it dries for a week, that paint gets nicer. That primer gets nice and hard. It's a good red oxide primer, so I wanted to let it dry so we didn't just tear it up too bad with the strap. But I think we're going to be okay. So I got to flip this rail up and we're going to uh, do a little wire wheel and or actually flapper wheel to the underside of this where I uh, drilled through and then put a little extra primer on those spots and uh, be ready to put in the truck. Let's pick her up and stand it up. Well, actually I did that wrong. You know, it's funny you learn how these straps got to be. For the rail to stand up rather than pick it up laying down. But uh, we're learning. <clears throat> there we go. That's still not going to do it. Let's see. Well, that might do it. Yeah, we'll try that. Well, actually, I got it on the wrong side. What am I doing? I don't want the bottom on top. I want the top on top. 
like this. Remember I thought I learned? Ah, thought I learned. Try it all, try it again. There. Boy, this is always the way it comes. Completely unprepared once we start the video. It's okay. I got the most forgiving fans in the entire world. All right. Let's try that. That's going to do anything. Stand it up. Whoa. Well, that went about as uh, expected. Come on. All right. I'm going to show you guys what we're doing here. Leave that right there. That's a perfect spot. Here, you guys got to see this. So the back side, you know, after I uh, do my uh, drilling with that uh, mag drill, you know, you get a, where's my, you get a couple of these like burrs, you know. I like to uh, whip those off. Got burrs. You got a burr right there all over that. You can see it. So I clean those up. I don't want to pee in the way. Look at this. The plugs hung up onto the bottom of it on a little curly cue. That's okay. Just want to get them out of there. Clean them holes up. And uh, spray a little primer on it. And then we're going to put it in. All right, you guys. You can see I went down here, deburred it. And I run a bolt through the hole. Clean any schmutz out of the hole and... That way they're good to go. Put a little primer on them. And uh, the frame's going in. Thanks for watching. Okay, primed, ready to go in. Just don't want any corrosion. Not in my lifetime. But this frame isn't going to rust even in my boys. When they keep it another 50 years. But uh, you don't want to leave any bare metal. I'm gonna put a little fluid film on all the bolts when I put them through. That way they can't rust in the uh, the bore. So, uh, man, I'm getting excited. It's coming together. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, everybody, I'm gonna bring you up to speed. Show you where we're at. Um, got this second rail all prepped. Let me show you. Prepped and primed. Drilled. This is actually the top side. You're over here is the bottom of the frame. Drilled for the suspension. Drilled in the front. Starting to organize bolts so I know what sizes to order and buy. So you over here we got these uh, perches. They're primed. I'm just priming stuff that's going to be really hard to get to after we uh, assemble it. Um, over here too. Because I'm not taking this stuff back apart, so we uh, wire wheeled. And the whole outside's still going to get uh, sandblasted, but uh, again, a few of these brackets in here, these spring brackets, they're going to uh, they're going to be bolted on, and we're not going to be uh, taking them back off. So we're almost ready to put the rail in. Welcome back. Here we are. Well, the time has come. This frame rail, we are primed, we are drilled, we are prepped. It's ready to go in the truck. And then we can move the axles back and get a good look at this new wheelbase and how sweet this truck's going to look. So let's do it, guys. I've got my punches for alignment. Got my bolts ready. Bolts over here. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're going to get the first two. And then get this spring bracket in place. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna roll this thing back.
Well, I gotta roll it back a little more. All right. Yeah. Get it where we need it. It's still not back far enough, but. Well, I'll be glad you guys to put my workbenches back where they're supposed to be. I can't wait to get my shot back when I'm not dealing with these uh, humongous beams everywhere. All right, get it right where we need it. Let's get a punch in there. Just to hold our, uh, just to align the holes. Let's see what we got here. Right there. Okay. Them punches in. Too bad we're not in the right holes. <laughs> we gotta go forward. Yeah, that's funny. Gonna be in the next set of holes. Okay. There we go. Hey, what do you know? Everything lines up now. That's good. Gotta come up a little bit. Oh, yeah, looking good. All right, let's get some bolts in it. Get these front two bolts. Those will be our anchor. And then we can work on the rest. More half-inch bolts, but they're fine thread, so they're a pretty darn good bolt. So that's good. <laughs> Let's see here. We uh, well, we're dropping everything now. I think we're gonna have to put a clamp on this because we're kind of kind of far out. Yeah, boy, that did it. Cool. All right. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah. We're in, we're down. Let me get a hammer. See if we get these bolts in. There we go. No problem. Bolt number one's in. That's a good sign. Okay, bolt number two. Then I'm going to bring you guys around this side. I'll put this uh, shackle back up. And uh, then we'll be ready to move on. So moving those rear ends. Okay. Second bolt's in. All right, well, that frame ain't going nowhere, guys. This is the final installation of it. So uh, I'm going to put the rest of these bolts in, and I think you guys know how it goes. I'll bring you back in a little bit. All right, we got our bolts. Let's put this uh, spring... Shackle up, and then once you got six bolts in it, after you done drilled it, it ain't going nowhere. Now, obviously, oh yeah, look at them holes, they're perfect. 
man, I like it when you do it right the first time. I painted the back of this bracket even. Hopefully this one goes up a little better than that other side did because uh, I got the jack in here. I can kind of manipulate it. I'm hoping better. We'll find out. All right. I need my other punch, but I can't find it. Whoa! Oh, that was too far. <laughs> mm. That paint's fighting me. I think it's doing. That's funny. We need to get this shackle up. Hmm. That's a kind of a... A little bit of a puzzle. All right. Let's try jacking the jack up a little more. Oh, yeah. That might help. Just a little bit more room. Almost got it. I'll take this clamp off. All right. <laughs> there we go. We got one. All right. Try the next one. <clears throat> Where'd my punch go? There it is. I'll pull this down a little bit. Down and over. Huh. There it is. Come on. Don't go through the hole. I need a punch with a smaller hole. Oh, there it is. Over there. Or a smaller, smaller punch. So I can drag it over where I need it. Get the bolts in. But once this is in, oh yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty much, oh yeah, look at that. So I gotta jack that up a little more. Increase the distance. Oh yeah, boy, that made it a lot easier. There it is. Put this top one in. All right. Got to put a little bit of oil on the shaft of this because I do not want to have it rusted on there in the future. So we got to do a little oil on it. Of course. <clears throat> Nothing's easy to ever put your hand on, but we got it. Good enough. All right, you guys, well, you've seen it. I'm going to put some more bolts in this. I'm going to set this down in the back, and I'm going to get it ready to uh, slide those rear ends back. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll bring you back in here in a little bit. All right, you guys, check this out. Them rails are in. They're not coming back out. Check that out. They look pretty darn good, don't they? I have all primed up. Got all my holes primed good. I got all my mounts primed. Got the straps off. 
Look at all that beautiful frame rail. So this afternoon, a little bit, couple hours, we're going to uh, set up the camera and we're going to roll all these axles back to their new home and start putting bolts in. Boy, and I can't wait. It's coming back that far. Here we are trying to figure out what else is hooked up so those wheels will roll so we can get it back. All right, you guys, check this out. We just moved that rear axle back. Look at that. It looks like a spread axle. Rails are done. Well, I mean, they're done up there. All the holes are good. Look at that. There was there eight feet between the rails, six feet, something like that. We're getting ready to move this front rear end back. And then we'll be able to get a good look at the new wheelbase. It's going to be sweet. All right, everyone, here we are. Big Paul, Big Paul's trucking. Time to like and subscribe. Look at this frame, guys. Look at this new wheelbase. 100 or 245 inch wheelbase. All the bolt holes lined up. Man, you'd think this was my first time. Check that out. Can't wait to roll it outside, put the cab down. You guys can get a better uh, idea how it looks, but 57-inch stretch. Check that out. All right, everybody, it's Big Paul, Big Paul Strucker. I want to thank you for watching to the end. This is kind of a long video. I know you guys are kind of invested by watching this series, but I appreciate it. Now, if you've missed any of the previous episodes, go back and watch them. Uh, this has got a large playlist, this cruise liner, so if you look on my page, you'll see it. But man, am I excited, guys. Look at this. Look at the wheelbase. It looks awesome. 245 inches. Now, the next step, everybody, that I'm going to do is uh, i got to put the cab mount. Uh, I'm going to mount the cab mount next, right here. Then i got to mount the exhaust mount. No big deal because the pump for the cab is on that and then I'm going to get all new hydraulic lines made going to my cylinders so I can uh, recapture that cab hydraulically and then I can lower it down safely without destroying it uh, I got to put the two rear cross members in I'm going to do that but then when I get to that point I got to pull this drive shaft too because I'm replacing those u-joints and it just made it easier to move them one rear end at a time, get them to their new home. And, uh, and I, you know, I got a couple bolts in each one. But I'm going to go buy all new bolts and get nylocks and nice stuff. Check that out, guys. I know it's hard to get a perspective, but it's, uh, it really looks good. It's going to look sweet. You know, once the fuel tanks are on here and the cab's down and the exhaust is on here, battery boxes, there's only going to be... Uh, like four, four and a half feet of extra frame right here in front of the wheels that I want to put a step there so I can step up on, you know, up onto the deck plate. And uh, I'm actually going to put a step on both sides. So any which way, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.